if you're hard on yourself, kind of beat yourself up a lot, you know you shouldn't, but you just don't know how to stop, I've got some ideas for you that's gonna flip it on its head and give you a whole new perspective and a way to stop beating yourself up and feel better about yourself even when you feel like you're failing. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids to help you relate and feel better about the job you're doing as a mother and a professional. You can call me Mocha Mom. This is my vlog. I'm sharing the ups and downs of my life. And as usual, I'm beating myself up, having a tough day today. I feel like I haven't gotten hardly anything done this whole week. We were on vacation last week, got back this week. I haven't really gotten into a groove, and especially today, I thought by now, late afternoon, I would have a lot more accomplished. And I thought about this, you know? I, it's something I feel a lot. I feel bad about myself feeling like I'm not living up to my own expectations, but how can I change that? Well, I realized today that I did something for my assistant that I don't do for myself. My assistant usually comes in several days a week. I like for her to come in maybe three, four days a week and help out with books and other administrative work. Well, she didn't come in today. She was supposed to, and I actually told her to come in a little later than we talked about because I was having a tough morning. And then after she was supposed to come in, she contacts me and says she had more things to take care of. She's been running around like crazy getting stuff done. And then a little while later, she says she got locked out of her apartment. She's waiting for her landlord. So one thing came up after another and she never ended up coming into the office. And I cut her a lot of slack because she's got three kids. She has another job. This is something part-time she does for me. And I know she's got a lot going on and it's okay. I want to live the words that I tell people, which is give moms a lot of flexibility in the workplace and I try to do that. But if I was not working, taking some time off to take care of some things or even just kind of relax, then I beat myself up over it. So I realized why am I cutting more slack for my employee than I am for myself. And that's the way to flip this on your head. I heard somebody talking the other day about a dilemma they were facing and they were describing this to their friend. I don't know, it's, it's a really tough decision. I should take the job, but I'm not really sure if I want to. And the friend said, listen, if I was telling you this story and it was about me, what's the advice you would give me? And she's like, oh, I would tell you definitely don't take it. It's not, it's not for you. I know you'll be miserable. Wait for the right thing to come along. She said, then there's your answer. So we give our friends that we care about and our family members who we love great advice. So what we need to do when we're facing a dilemma or when we're being ourselves up is think about if this was something in somebody else, if someone else was having a tough day saying, oh, I'm just feeling like a failure today. I'm not feeling like I'm getting anything done. I'm just feeling frustrated. And you know, I, I, I just, I, you know, I hate myself for it. We would tell our friend, no, give yourself some, you know, some grace, you know, realize that tomorrow's a new day and you did your best today. And so we need to give ourselves that same advice that we would give to a friend we care about or a family member we love. So that's the way to kind of flip this on your head. Take yourself out of your own mind and pretend that you're looking at your life as if it was somebody else's and you're giving advice to that friend and give that same advice to yourself. Cut yourself that same slack that you would for a friend, a coworker, an employee, um, a good, you know, a, a good close friend that you really care about, that you know that you would give them a little more slack than you give yourself. And it's time to, to try treating yourself as you do the other people in your life that you love because self-love is important. We love ourselves, we gotta treat ourselves better. So that's my tip. I hope that you subscribe to Working Mom Warrior and click on the next video for more inspiration. And I look forward to hearing from you in the comments.